Hello! In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to create a dashboard. Now, the dashboard you can see on my screen looks very beautiful. The design is actually gotten from Dribbble. So you can look up the link and just look for exploration project management and you'll be able to see this exact dashboard. That's what we'll be using HTML, CSS and JavaScript to create. So it's going to be an interesting one. But one of the greatest challenges when you have this kind of design before you is the question of how do you start? Where will you start from? We are going to break that down in this lesson one after the other. So if you can follow up on this lesson, you're going to learn a lot. And guess what? The curiosity of HTML and CSS and JavaScript, how it works, how you can use them to create interactivity. You're going to get all of them here because we are going to be embedding chat at some point. We're going to be adding users and the likes. You can see all of them. Our aim in this course is to actually learn how to create a dashboard using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. What are you waiting for? So let's dive into it. First on our list is how do we break this structure down? We have all of these buttons, we have all of these users, we have all these segments as well. How do we know which is going to be div, which is going to be container, which is going to be a wrapper? However it is, how do we recognize that? Before I start projects like this, what I first do is break them down. I know what is going to be a wrapper, I know what is going to be a container, I know what is going to be a div, and let's see how that works right now. So I'm going to be using an editor to help this process seamless. So let's see how it works. The first thing I want to do is to first say that the whole of the design is one box. To start with the box, I can just go ahead and draw my first box. By drawing my first box, we can go for the color of red. Can go for the color of red. Okay, so we have red. Let's just have red. This is the entire container that will serve as the project wrapper. The next thing we want to do is to be able to identify the sections. As we have it here, we have three sections. This our toggle navbar is one section. This entire section is another one. Then we have this as well as another section. So why not we just go ahead and use box to do this. Now this is not really relevant for pros but as for beginners I know that this will help you a lot. Once you can identify what you take as section and what you should take as inner div is going to help your entire design process. So let's see how that works. So we have our container or you can call this overall wrapper. Then let's begin to have our inner section. So first let's draw another box. We're going to have another box. We can give these another color just to be able to differentiate them. Uh, let's make it a darker version. Let's give it this one. Okay. So let's identify all our sections. This is one section. This is another section. Then we have this final section. Let me just duplicate this one. So right now we have three sections, which is very clear. The next thing we need to do is what are the inner div, like inner containers, inner wrapper. You can call them anything. So first we have this div, which is going to display flex, whatever we have on this line. So let's draw another box. By drawing another box, let's give it like another color shade. We're beginning to see how they are nested. So by doing that, let's just go forward and give it like a lemon color. So first, I'm just going to have this one here. When I have this, I'm just going to extend it. Okay, so this is another inner container. We're going to duplicate this as well. When we duplicate this, this is another container. Then we need another one. This is another container. You can see how it works. Now, another thing we can do, since we have all of this container, is to still identify the container on this very segment. So we can duplicate this.
So we can say this is one container. We can duplicate this as well. Say this is another container. Okay, so what do we have left? We have all of these sub containers. And what can we do? I think I want to change this very color. I want to change this very color to purple. Let's change the color to something like this. Okay, yes. So how do we identify other content? So this is a container. It can be H1, however you want, but this must be a div. Then inside the div, you're going to have all this, your content. It can be P tag, it can be buttons, whatever you want to have. But just know that you need two container and two container here as well. So let's see how that works. Let's draw another box. This time around, let's use the color of lemon, maybe a darker shade of lemon, yes. We're just going to have it, the segment. Then let's duplicate this one. All right. We're going to apply the same thing here. So you should begin to have an idea of how you should structure your content. All of these are going to be tags, and we're going to have that different segment once we are done with this process. So this again will be a div. So inside this very div is where you have all the contents. H, this can be H2, this can be P tag, this can be P tag, this can be P tag as well. Then this can be images. Okay, so we're going to have this. So I'm not just going to duplicate all of this. We'll just assume that this will be duplicated in our design. Another inner div that we can have is just inside here. Okay. So main looking at is, of course, we are going to duplicate all of this one. And this is how to structure our content. Inside this very div, we're going to have this content, we're going to have either, we can use the same maybe H2 that was used for this one, this one H2, then maybe P tag. Then you have, um, it depends on how you want to create it, you can have like your color tag as well, maybe an empty div, however it is, we're going to achieve all of these in CSS. Okay, pretty much, I think we are cool with our structure, but let's add some sort of identifier to all of these colors so that we know what to expect at every point. This red, we can make this red container a div. We can just title the div. So let's duplicate a box and let's just reduce it. So we are going to, we are going to just title this one red. Let's give it color of red. Color of red. Okay, so this is just going to be the div, like a wrapper or container div, however it is. So let's have a test. You can just call this div. So the next one is going to be this shade of color. So this can be a container. You can just call it containers. Okay, let's just leave it like that. Then the next is going to be the wrapper div, which can be this purple. So this will be the inner wrapper. So we can call this like Maybe just give it a wrapper div. Let's increase it. Okay, so the next thing we want to look at is this very color segment, which are also div. So let's just duplicate it. This can be this can be child container div. Let's just say maybe child then container. Div. So let's change the colors. 
let's change the colors we can have this let's just pick that again we can have these as lemon we can have these as purple and that purple is darker let's make it a bit lighter okay so when you look at it right now we have something that is going to really help us in our html structure and i am very excited to move into the html so i can't wait to have you replicate this kind of idea in your project and this is the approach that we're going to use to solve each of the problem in the next lesson we'll be looking at how to actually create the html just with this simple structure that we've put in place you can use this styling or this approach to solve any structure or any web design project that you have thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one